what's going on everybody welcome back to another one we're back at it we got the snowmobile the portable out here and we're getting ready to do some more spearing we're in southern minnesota again we d finally have enough ice to drive out of i feel like i've been walking out around here forever but we're going after some pike today because like i said there's a lot more spearing to come but we're in about seven feet of water just kind of off a weed line sitting off of a point and we're gonna get our hole cut and I'm gonna kind of show you guys that process and uh, we're gonna get to spearing, so let's get to it. It is absolutely freezing today. It's like, I don't know, negative seven. I think the low is like negative 10 or something like that. There's a blizzard coming and it's super cold. So that's why we're spearing today because typically with these cold fronts, you know, a lot of fish don't bite, but we don't need them to bite. We just need them to come and look. So as long as we can get some lookers, I think we should be able to get some fish on the ground today. So we got our hole all drilled up and we got a decoy down there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, we're in about six and a half feet of water, so we're gonna just sit tight here and be quiet and see if we can get anything to come in, so stay tuned. Oh, I think we got him. No, oh yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, it's a big boy too. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe that. No way. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing is huge, man. Wow. Look at that pike. Oh my God. It just came in and I saw it. Oh, that was so fun. <laughs> that thing's gotta be 30 something inches. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was the perfect spear too. <laughs> wow. That was, <laughs> that was pretty freaking sweet. I really hope we can get another one. It's been kind of slow. We, uh, I'm just using a decoy, I'm not using live bait. And I had it kind of close to the bottom, but just about five minutes ago, I uh, raised it up a little bit. So I was probably three, four feet off the bottom. This guy came in almost instantly and we smacked him. Okay, that was absolutely the bomb. I can't wait to do it again. I'm gonna have to get a picture with this guy, but that is freaking awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I know I am. That was freaking sweet. Let's get back to spearing. I think we got a fish down there. Let's go for it. Did we get him? Did we get him? I can't tell. Ah, oh, we didn't. Dang it. It wasn't a very big one, but I could see him down there. Wouldn't have minded getting some more, but we had to try. I couldn't see him the best, but he was right in front of the decoy. Huh. Oh, well. Well, we'll just wait. They're starting to pick up now, that's for sure. We, uh, we've been out here for quite some time, and it's been pretty slow, so we're going to give it a little bit longer. I think uh, it seems like these fish are starting to pick up, and we can also see better in the hole as the sun starts to come up, too. I mean, it's about... 12 o'clock now so stay tuned guys hopefully we can get some more 
Well, things have slowed down quite a bit. We have seen a number of fish. Well, not too many. We've maybe seen like another three or four fish. I had two come in at the same time, but I wasn't paying attention. So I didn't get the chance to throw the spear at it, which was kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we have a giant snowstorm coming with like super, super cold temperatures. So if you guys are heading out fishing, just be careful. Make sure you keep extra propane with you in case you get stranded or something. Uh, but it was a ton of fun. I do want to try and get back out here tomorrow just because I'm not going to be at work with how cold it's going to be and how snowy and that kind of Kind of stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did we'll see you in the next one and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace